Is that the evolution of Sackboy? I did see someone talking about like Sackboy and is in the corner watching Astrobot take over as the mascot, and it made me sad because I I it made me go, oh, little big planet's done. I have no faith in Sony right now because of what their current leadership said a few days ago, and this is via the Financial Times. Following the investment splurge, Sony's top executives argue the group needs to be more directly involved in creating content at an earlier stage to get higher returns. Quote, whether it's for games, films, or anime, we don't have that much IP that we fostered from the beginning, end quote, said Chief Financial Officer Hiroki Totoki, who is widely seen as Yoshida's uh, successor in a separate interview. Quote, we're lacking the early phase of IP, and that's an issue for us, end quote, he added, noting that Sony has historically been better at finding a global audience for content that has already become popular in their home market. In executives, we have no IPs. That's what it reads like. I'm curious if there's um, there's something a little deeper to that, that he's like what he actually means. I don't understand that why Hiroki Totoki is saying that they don't have IPs. It doesn't make sense to me because Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, uh, Little Big Planet, Prappa the Rappa. Granted, Prappa is a small one. It's not going to be a big money maker. Uh, Uncharted is still an IP they have. They have The Last of Us still. They Vib Ribbon. Again, that's another smaller one. And it, it's one of those things that's like, there's a lot they could bring back, but I don't know. Maybe it's implicit. He means new IPs. <sighs> Maybe, but even then, that feels really stupid to me because it's like, you don't see Microsoft doing that, right? Like, you don't see Microsoft doing that. You don't see Nintendo doing that. They foster their old IPs. Granted, Nintendo is like fucking wild and squanders their shit all the time. And Microsoft is over here going, we don't know what to do with Halo right now. But they have fostered these things. It said early phases of new IP. Uh, whether it's for games or films, uh, or anime, we don't have that much IP that we fostered from the beginning, said Chief Financial Officer. To, let me put this up on screen. It'll be easier than me like grabbing screen caps. Foster from the beginning, we're lacking an early phase of IP, and that's an issue for us, he added, noting Sony has historically been better at finding global audience for content that has already become popular in their home market. So if, if it's new IP, though, like, does he need a new IP? Or does he? Does Sony need new IPs right now? Because just lean on your old stuff that people love and, and use that to fund your new experimental IPs like Astrobot or something. Because we had Concord come out that was supposed to be this new big IP. And what did we get out of Concord? Uh, less than two weeks runtime. And then Astrobot came out and is looking at game of the year potential from what I understand. But again, I have I don't follow Sony too much. Like at all. Retro nostalgia is still a thing. Yeah. Nintendo, I think, is equally bad. They are... But I'd rather Nintendo than Sony with the way they handle their IPs, to be honest. He's complaining their IPs are already popular, I think, which is bizarre. That's a weird perspective to have, if that's what he's trying to say. Because what it reads like, it, like you said, if he's focusing on early, he's saying Sony is good historically at finding a place in the global audience for something that's already popular. And I'm assuming by home market, they mean would it be Western audiences? What's their, what is Sony's home market? Is it Japan? Because I don't know if Sony's the, the, like... I think so. I don't think it'd be Japan. 
That wouldn't make any sense to me because I don't I don't view Sony as like, oh, they popularized JRPGs in the West. Popularized them and like they helped, you know, publish them and everything in JP, but home market would probably be Japan, I would have thought. If it is JP, then it's like then is he saying that they're <laughs> It's a weird statement because if it's if his statement is saying the company is historically good at finding a market or uh, the, it, that it, the company is good at finding a global audience for something that's popular in the home market of Japan, then it's a question of like, what do you mean by outside of Japan then? What was Concord supposed to be? And if it's early IP, if it's uh, intervention, so be it IPs that already exist, it's like, do you... Sony's founded and owned by the Japanese. Oh, no, that I know. That's why I'm trying to figure out what he means by home market, though. Like, is he talking about in Japan? Because if he's talking about that, if it's if we're talking about, like, currently existing IPs, I have no idea how, like, Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank do in JP. I have no idea. I don't know how that goes over, usually. Um, and it's very odd to me that... Even if he's talking about... No, scratch all of it. No matter how you unpack this, this feels like a weird statement that I don't understand. I don't get what the purpose of this statement was. Other than it sounding like Sony going, well, we just have no games. This feels very bizarre. I, I don't understand what it's supposed to mean. Because normally you look at this type of stuff and you go, oh, it's, it's for investors. But if I was an investor looking at this and the company I was investing in just told me like, we don't have anything to, to sell uh, for our gaming division. It's like, I don't know. This West of Booth playing Jack and Daxter and Abe and Go Go. <laughs> like, I just, I, it's a bizarre statement. We have no IPs, not one. They don't. Nope. Bloodborne doesn't exist. I'll just go down one of these and just find something that I know I would be interested in. Days Gone needs a fucking sequel. Yes, the creator's a just loud, annoying asshole on Twitter, but whatever. Uh, Days Gone is crazy good. Drags on a little long, but it's cool. Uh, Drive Club was one of the coolest the crew competitors that Sony just let die. Uh, Fat Princess was really fun as a little mini game thing. I would love to see like that come back in some capacity at some point. Ghost of Tsushima, which is already getting a sequel, right? The Order 1886. Neck, neck two. Gran Turismo seems to be struggling right now. Gravity Rush was completely left out in the rain to just die. Heavenly Sword was a launch title for the PS3 that was super cool that didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of love. Bring back Hot Shots Golf, do that. Eco, which we already got like that studio is not gonna. They they're very slow and they make cool things. <laughs> Sucker Punch, where titles are born to die. That's so mean. It's ah, so mean to Sucker Punch. They make so many good games though. What are you talking about? I love Sucker Punch. Rogue Galaxy is great. Never played it. Infamous is fantastic. I miss that series. Jack and Daxter, need I say more? We play it all the time. Killzone, one of the coolest FPSs that are like hard. That's like a hard sci-fi. I love it. Loco Roco was great. Smiling Friends Club of the CEO. No, it's my IP to sit on and do nothing with. That is what it is. They do, but they keep killing their IPs after like three games. It's just because they're like, no, it sold a little bit less. Come on. Motorstorm was sick. Rappa the Rappa. Patapon's great. Too bad they killed the studio. Uh, Ratchet and Clank's fantastic. Resistance is a game that I, I recognize how cool it is. I hate it, but I recognize it. And Resistance is super cool. Sly Cooper's great. Returnal was really, really good. Uh, SOCOM is the, my first competitive shoot, third person shooter that I played when I was younger. I loved SOCOM. Child of the Colossus is a great soul sacrifice. was so goddamn cool. I don't know why they let that die on the PS Vita, but whatever. 
Tearaway was awesome. Until Dawn's cool. It's getting a movie. So calm these nuts. <laughs> nice, Leo. The Cell wants Jack Combat Racing 2 is more Queens of the Stone Age song. Wait, was there Queens of the Stone Age songs in the first? Wait, you're sh shut up. You're lying. There's no way there are Queens of the Stone Age songs in Jack X. Shut the fuck up. You're such a... No, hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. You're lying. I forgot this existed. Yeah, I forgot this existed. Oh my god. I'm gonna watch all the Jack X cutscenes and do commentary for sure. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be fun. It's been a while since I, like, said how I used to play these. I didn't... We couldn't afford a memory card for my PS2 when we first... Ashlyn or Cure? Ashlyn. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of slurred that out. Ashlyn. Like, wait, come on. Do, do I need to say anything? <laughs> no, I we couldn't afford a memory card for um for my PS2 when I was a kid. And every day I'd come home from school, I'd watch Yu-Gi-Oh! At, at 3 p.m. And then I would watch, uh, I think it was like Cyber Chase afterwards at like 3.30. And then I would turn on my PlayStation 2 and I would play Jack 1 all the way to Snowy Mountain, which if you've been on the Jack and Dash's streams, you know how far that is. It's about 80% of the way through the game. I get to Snowy Mountain around like 10 p.m. and then I would have to go to sleep for school. So I'd turn the PlayStation off and because I couldn't save it, I would just have to come home the next day and play through it again. Upstream going down. Dreams going down? Nope. There we go. We're back. Cell's a true fossil. <laughs> uh, but no, that's how I ended up playing it in, for a long time until we were able to finally get a memory card. And that's how speed running started. <laughs> and the way I got into Jack 2 was I didn't. So I didn't get Jack 2 until I bought a GameCube. And I asked my aunt for, she asked me like what I wanted for Christmas. And I was, I was like, I want Jack 2 and I want Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube. And she bought me Star Fox Adventures and then brought Jack 2 to the house, but didn't wrap it. And she asked my mom, I was like nine. <laughs> she was like, she was like, Hey, uh, kid, this is a, this is a T rated game. And I was looking at the art on the cover and like there's a big titty woman with the tattoo face and guns and violet is this okay for him to play <laughs> and i remember sitting there and being terrified that my mom was gonna say no because i wanted to know what would happen in the story next jack go back to the city dax God, I love this game so much. Dark Eco shrunk down his, his WW1 pilot helmet, but that's it. <laughs> I never thought about it. It did. It actually shrunk his stupid little helmet thing down. <laughs>